Hi guys, my name is Sandy. I'm a homeschooling mom to two boys. They are 10 and 12 right now. And today I'm gonna to be talking about my older son's science that he's currently using. He is using BJU Life Science. We purchased the distance learning option. Um, at the beginning of the year, we started using Easy Peasy just for something free until the co-op started. And so he started his co-op. It ended up not working out for us very well. Uh, mainly because my husband is working from home right now and just having my son sign on to the Zoom once a week was really messing with my husband's schedule. So um, after the first trimester of the co-op, we ended up stopping and then in October we started this BJU. So we've been using it for a few months now. And here's everything that the package came with. You've got the textbook that the student reads out of. And you have a lab manual book with all of the worksheets. And they've also included a video lesson guide that breaks down what the child is supposed to be doing every day. And I've also got an additional student handbook, which has a few extra worksheets and another guide. And also you have a materials list. And then at the beginning of each chapter online, you can print up some guided notes, which makes the lecture so much easier. I have my son print this up and then fill in while the lecture is going on. This is a pretty pricey curriculum, and I really wanted to add in a little bit extra to my cart in order to get the financing option that they offer. So we did Science 5 last year with BJU, so I've got Science 6. For my fifth grader to go through this year he's already gone through the science five so we're just going to go through the science six this year and next year at a slower pace and then i also added in world studies for my older son he's going to be going through this next year even though it's their seventh grade curriculum for history it kind of works into our history order of what we would be studying next year so he's going to be using this all in eighth grade so here's chapter two that student's dashboard and of course the parent gets a separate dashboard which I never really go into just maybe to check his tests and quiz scores so um, each day it lists exactly what materials you're gonna need and how much you're gonna have to read for the day and which videos you have to watch at the beginning of the chapter you have a link for guided notes which you can click on and then you can print them up and that's that outline that I'd shown you. And so for day nine, here's the video. Each day you pretty much get a video and then you have to read in your textbook and sometimes you have to do a worksheet, but there's really not many worksheets that need to be done. Here's a little bit of the video. So after you watch the video, it's going to give you the assignment, which in this case is reading page 28 to 32 and complete application 2A on lab manual page 15. So this is how much you would have to read in one day. Here's the first page, the second page, and one thing I do like are the pictures throughout the whole book. There's the next one. You can see it's a lot of little tiny words on each page, so it is a good amount to read. And it said to end on 32. And usually on sections where you end, there are questions right after it that I just ask my son out loud and he just answers. Like right here, the next day you would be reading this, this page, this page, and then you would do these questions right here out loud. 
And let me see if I can find a lab experiment to show you guys. and 36 in your lab manual, the proteins and life substances. Our goal for today is to show you that some common foods um, do contain protein. Well, why, you ask, does this matter? In the last lesson, we talked about proteins being important building blocks for cells and for manufacturing enzymes. And you can put that the color change was violet. We're skipping over the egg yolk. Next, I have some flour here mixed with water. So when I put in the Biorep solution, there is a change of color. Now because of the white in the flower, it fades. So here's the lab worksheet from that lab video, and I love the lab videos. She does such a good job explaining everything, and my son is really easily able to fill out the lab worksheets on his own. She like stops and pauses when they're supposed to be filling out some information. So this is one of the things that I really love. And then at the end of each chapter, there is a chapter review and then a chapter test. And there's always one day of review where they can read over their book and study their notes. And then there's a review video. And then after that, they would take a practice test. And then after the test, the practice test, they take the actual test. Here's an example of the online textbook that you get when you buy the whole distance learning package. Here's one of the pages. Let me show you an example of the text being read to the student. Embedded in the cell membrane help in moving substances across the ME membrane by active transport. Iodine, for example, is present in the ocean in only very small concentrations. Many organisms in the ocean need iodine in a much higher concentration than is found in the water around them. To get the so you can see it's pretty boring and I used to read the text to my son when we did the lower levels of BGU and he really liked it. Um, this time he wanted to be more independent and he hates reading textbooks, just doesn't enjoy reading at all. So I thought we would just use the option of the text having been read to him and he's not retaining anything. I'm going to give you guys my final thoughts while I flip through the textbook a little bit. My son really enjoys the videos by Mrs. Gillenwater. She's a really good teacher, and he seems to understand what she talks about. Um, he also likes to watch the labs, because they really go over all the labs step by step. The thing is, he would rather do them in person. But the problem with that is, it was so expensive to get the lab kit after buying the whole curriculum. And since we bought it in October, I didn't want to buy the lab kit when we weren't going to be using it the whole year. But I do plan on getting the dissection kit separately. I like the layout of the lab sheets. It makes them very easy to fill out. I love the guided notes that you can print up. It's really helping him with outlining. The worst thing about this whole thing is probably the price. The price is $300 for the distance learning option. And when I have both kids doing the higher level sciences in a few years, if I were to use BJU with both of them, plus the labs, which are really needed for the high school level, it would be over $1,000 just for science for that one year. So I'm definitely looking around for a cheaper option for the high school level. And another thing I don't like is I felt like there wasn't enough critical thinking. There was way too much reading and watching video, and there wasn't a whole lot of research for the students to do. Another thing I don't really like is the fact that you can't really pass it down. It's $300 for the distance learning, and you... Whether you get the DVDs or you do the online version, you have to return the DVDs at the end of the year or they cancel your subscription for the online version when you're done with it. So you really can't pass the videos down to the next child. And, and another thing my son doesn't really like is the textbook itself. It's a lot of reading for him. And like I said earlier, he can read fine. He's reading about grade level. He just doesn't enjoy doing it. And you so basically every day it's a lot of work also. It's a large larger workload than he's used to. You watch a video every day and then you do reading and then you usually have an assignment in addition to that. So what I'm looking at for next year right now is the elemental science. For the books and the lab kit it's around $130 and it looks like the lab kit pretty much has everything you need in there. 
and I, elemental science has a lot less textbook reading and it looks like it has more researching and sketching and more critical thinking and I know my son's gonna work better with that it works better with his learning style also I looked at the high school levels for the elemental science and they're also very very good price and they have videos that they click on while they're reading the online textbook which I like I think that breaks up the reading a little bit and also I like how they have an honors option for the elemental science in high school. So he can do the honors option. It's a little bit more research project for him, which he likes doing. And then after that, I'll, able, I'll be able to write the honors program on his transcript for his college application. So that's basically my review of the life science. I hope it was helpful. Bye.